In this video, I will cover how we can determine the gain margin, GM, and the phase margin, PM, from Bode plots. And uh, to do that, we'll start out by uh, recalling the definitions that we have here. So we'll be given some transfer function G of S that we'd like to analyze via frequency response analysis. We plug in um, S equals J omega, where J was equal to the square root of minus one. We will then rationalize um, G of J omega, and this will give us um, a real and imaginary part I will call R and I of G of J omega. With these terms, we will then plug in um, them into these equations, so we'll find the um, amplitude ratio AR of the open loop response via the following. It will be equivalent to the square root of R squared plus I squared. And we will determine the phase of our open loop system by evaluating the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. And the thing to note here is that these are functions of omega, which is our frequency that our input is perturbing the system that we're analyzing at. And um, then finally, what we do is we plot these terms um, on the Bode diagrams here. And so once we've done that, um, we can begin to uh, determine what our gain and phase margins are. And so the first thing to do is um, I'm going to determine what our crossover frequency is. So omega CO. And this term will be equivalent to um, the following. So we'll start at an amplitude ratio of one in the top plot. We'll go out until we intersect this line here. This line will be some function of K, which is our gain. And at this point, we will then look vertically down um, to the second Bode, Bode, uh, second plot, and we'll find what the corresponding um, phase is that corresponds to uh, this particular uh, frequency. So this frequency that we've just found uh, is called WCO and uh, write it down here as well, WCO. And WCO will have some um, phase associated with it. So um, what we'll note here is that uh, our system, as we'll recall from previous discussions, is stable as long as um, the phase is, is less than minus, or greater than minus 180 degrees. And so to determine our phase margin, which is this region here, we simply uh, do the following. So we'll have phase margin is equivalent to your phase evaluated at your crossover frequency minus, minus 180 degrees. And so this becomes a positive value. And so in this case, to assign some numbers here, if I call this minus 150, for instance, um, our, our phase uh, will be 30 degrees. Now, if we wanted to determine what our uh, gain margin is visually, uh, if we now look to the right on the uh, bottom plot of our uh, Bode diagram, if we go out to where this term is equal to minus 180 degrees, um, where our phase is minus 180 degrees, and then look up and go vertically, um, what we'll see is that we intersect this um, plot of K in this upper regime, and um, we can determine what AR is at that value. And so the gain margin is this region here, which we can visually see uh, is simply 1 minus 0 0.1, which equals 0 0.9. And so what this gain uh, margin is telling us is um, some kind of multiplicative factor that we can um, multiply our gain by to make our uh, system 
uh, stable. So it, it tells us essentially a range of K values that we can go with. And um, so this concludes how we can uh, determine the gain and phase margins from Bode diagrams. Uh, I hope you guys find it useful. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.